How do you affect positive change? What drives that? What's behind it? So how do you affect positive change? By being a problem solver. I was one of 10 children. My dad was a teacher, so uh, we got to know a lot about uh, teaching through him. We can be open to others' biases, to understand what contributed to them. Being familiar with education uh, in our family, um, I took a shot at teaching, and I thought that was going to be a good fit. And it was for some first jobs. Um, I caught myself, though, at different points thinking, I think we could do this better, the way we run schools and the way uh, teachers teach. So I went back to school as a returning adult graduate student. In education, to me, what I've learned is um, there are some uh, priority uh, people who are involved in the teacher and learning process. And for me, it's students. It always goes back to students. Mark McGuire is an educator. Educator would be an understatement. Uh, he does so much more to that. He's a motivator. He's a supporter. He's a believer in your vision. He truly wants the best for you in the classroom. Um, and he is someone where you learn from him, but he also appreciates what um, he can learn from you as well. I think something that stands out about Michael and his teaching style is really how he invests in his students and gets to know all of the students. Regardless of what it is we're engaged in now, success or failure, having an eye on the next. College can be a time with a lot of transition and change, but Michael was like this constant in the community and nonprofit leadership major, which was so special. I have the School of Human Ecology in my DNA. That early experience in the School of Human Ecology taught me a few things about teaching. You see things here at UW-Madison that need change. What motivates that change? What drives you? I had graduate school professors who were just awesome individuals, great people, and they had a focus on students. They made it really clear that we were the reason they were there doing that work. So that sort of set a template for me to learn from and not, at, not knowing it at the time, but I was able to come back and, and uh, come back home, so to speak, to the School of Human Ecology and, and somewhat replicate that as best I could. Michael has like shown me a lot of different opportunities that um, some I've taken, some that I have applied for, and that he's kind of been behind me and all those sorts of things. And he's been like, oh, you should try this. Even if you don't get it, you should do it. We all need community and uh, finding each other to celebrate joyous times too. So um, if part of your undergraduate experience uh, includes some authentic community engagement, you can experience that sense of belonging. In every opportunity that he kind of presents to me, civic engagement is at the heart of that. He, he created spaces where people felt safe and comfor comfortable to really ask questions and grow and work together. I get up to go to class to respect him for believing in me. I feel that it would be a disservice to not be engaged in class because he believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Oftentimes change is values based. Those positive things inside us. And um, I feel like it's my duty now to carry that message onto the next generation. And help another young scholar like myself who, who's struggling to figure things out, say, hey, go to Sohi. There's a guy named Michael McGuire there and he might be able to help you out. Those are values that drive personal change for me. I know if I'm gonna change my habits, my way of thinking, I need to have and tap into those values.